Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and today I have a box. A green box with a bow on it. And I can tell you this, it's a Kingdom Death box. But I don't remember what. <laughs> so, I don't know how to title this at the moment, but when I go back and edit it, I'll make sure it's up there at the top of the video. Anyway, let's find out. It's a Holiday model, I know that much. It's one of the plastic ones. Ah! It is Holiday White Speaker Nico. Okay. You are appropriately dressed for the occasion, aren't you, lady? Okay. So she was one of the earlier holiday releases, if not the first, because she was actually part of the very first Kickstarter. So, I have no clue how this is all going to go together. Obviously, these two parts are going to make the base. And Nico herself doesn't seem too complicated, and there's all this weird stuff over here. This seems like it's the back of her chair. And then there's a bunch of stuff. So, all right. I'm going to start clipping and cutting, and we'll just see what happens, won't we? And the interesting thing is, believe it or not, it's all going to actually fit on a regular size Kingdom Death base. I had actually thought this was going to be pinup size, but I stand corrected. I'm kind of surprised. Everything is going to fit. So she's got that pile of lanterns, it looks like, and stone faces. Or is it just stone faces? Those are just faces. I'm rambling to myself. All right, I'm going to get started, and I'm going to see what I can do to begin with, and then we'll go from there if I have to cheat and look online. Hopefully I don't. All right, we got Holiday White Speaker Nico all done, and actually, I'm kind of surprised. I figured it all out basically by using the actual art card that was included. Surprise, surprise. She is not 100% glued on her base, but that's always the case when I build these Kingdom Death models, just because it's a little bit easier to get at all the little hard-to-reach spots later on. So we will lift her off her base here. So she was the first real kind of diorama model that came out in plastic, and overall it, it really works. Uh, it's got a bit of a bondage thing going on there, and you might want to be careful. So the biggest challenge that I was trying to figure out was where exactly these little lanterns went. So you can see there's the one with the candle up there, just trying to get the right pose for everything. It was a bit of a challenge. And to make sure that I got her arms glued on correctly. So as my glue was setting, I did a lot of playing around and wiggling to make sure everything was nice and neat. Um, as I said, I didn't glue everything. She's actually not attached to her base, despite the way all of those ropes or straps look. Now I can't get her off. <laughs> Well, we'll leave her there for now. Anyway, so using the art cards as a guide, or if you want to look online, it's really not that bad. Now, painting her, on the other hand, is going to be more of a challenge. I went ahead and grabbed a couple other plastic models just to give you an idea of how big she is. She is still at that gaming scale. I don't know what you're going to do with her exactly, considering she is, you know, tied up to a pile of stone faces and all, but... It definitely works. So she's probably a little bit bigger than the current, no, these aren't even current, than the older models, just in terms of size. She looks like she's gonna be more in line with the more modern stuff. As I try to hold back a giant belt. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long day, but yeah, pretty cool looking model. Um, I didn't realize I'd stuck the cards in the top of the box and I had to go fish it out of the garbage. So I, I would show that off too. But yeah, so anyway, it's a cool looking model, and we'll have fun painting her, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with her after that, other than have her sit on the shelf and look cool with all the other models, and include her rules in our next campaign, if we can ever get everybody together again to get that rolling. So, if you're interested, I'm sure she'll be back next year at Christmas time, that's when she first appeared. There's no reason to go and pay exorbitant rates to scalpers on eBay or wherever you like to go night market or any of that stuff but if you get it for a good price i mean she was like what what 27 i think on the site originally so keep that in mind as you spend judiciously with that said this is high lord tamerlane with obscurities and miniatures saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon Bye bye